No. <laughs> we got bait, baby! <laughs> that is bull redfish candy. All right, guys, so we got our bait. We have uh, all kinds of different variety. We got the horse size, so we can chunk up real fat. And we also have uh, the four and the five inch size. So we have a nice little variety. And that was good. I was getting a little bit worried because I wasn't seeing a ton of bait in the river. Uh, the last report that I just got last night was the mullet are running offshore right now. So if I didn't see any here on our way out to the jetties, I definitely was going to make my run out there, but we're good now. There's no sense in heading out there and beating ourselves up. So we're going to head out that way. We're going to get set up and let's go catch some fish. You got something tapping this rod right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, a big bite. Sometimes you guys with these redfish, man, you'll just get a small little bump and then that's it. And then they'll be sitting down there with it in their mouth. Yep, see, she's there. Yep, yeah, she's there. Uh, don't go up there. We got a troll motor, buddy. <laughs> You don't want to go that way. Oh man, what is she doing? Come on up. We about to see if we got us a redfish or a shark. Oh, a monster stingray. Look how big that thing is. Holy cow. Are you serious? Look at, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That is a big stingray. Look at that thing. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> what is this? Did you bring this luck on the boat? <laughs> so if I can keep her upside down, that is going to be my plan. She choked that hook. She choked it. Dang it, man. Hey, I gotta, I gotta send her back with this thing, but she choked that hook down. There she goes. So in this situation, you guys, it's just safer to cut this thing loose instead of me trying to bring her on board. Use my uh, D-hooker tool, try to get it out of her stomach and whatnot. I don't want that barb to be stuck in me. Uh, so we'll just cut her free there at the boat, let her swim away. These, rust, these uh, hooks are not stainless steel, so they will eventually rust out and she'll be able to spit it out or whatnot. So it shouldn't kill that fish, but that was honestly the safest way to go. So the jacks just showed up. I didn't think they would still be here. I thought maybe with this cooler temperature they'd be gone, but no, they're here. They're, they're in between the rocks again. There's just, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh, she's taking me back into the rocks. She's running at me. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> oh man how many of those did you bring <laughs> did you bring enough to uh spend 50 bucks <laughs> one <laughs> dang it man i knew it i knew that was gonna be it guys she took uh she took a turn right back for the rocks real quick and that was it <sighs> well i got a couple big ones let's get re-rigged all right we're gonna try something different we're gonna throw the old uh Miradine Papa Mullet. Now I've replaced the, the factory hooks that come with them with these uh, 
uh, number four or number three, I can't remember what size VMC hooks. So we have a little stronger hook. I know I still can't put a ton of pressure on it, but this thing's not gonna really work in a walk the dog mode. It's just gonna kind of pop and, and uh, make some noise that way. But this thing is just basically pop, pop. It's just gonna chug and plug. No, she didn't miss. <laughs> Got her out. Got her out. All right, let's uh, let's drive her into deep water. Ah! Dang it! On the rocks again. <laughs> It's two top waters we lost now. Dang it, man. So what these fish are doing, you guys, is they're basically hitting this thing on the top water and they're making a run right back for the rocks where they're scared. They know they've got protection down there and that's where we keep getting broke off. Unfortunately, we can't put a lot of pressure on these fish because they will bend the hook out. So it's kind of a, you, you gotta figure out what you wanna do. You wanna try to horse the fish out and get them out and take the risk of bending the hook or play the fish a little bit more and take the risk of getting broke off. I don't know what to do. The good thing is, is there's about a dozen in there. Uh, the bad news is, is we only have about four more top water baits. <laughs> and then after that, I'm thinking I might just start uh, live lining some uh, mullet back there with a big circle hook and some big heavy stuff. And maybe that's the, the ticket. I don't know. I just enjoy the top water bite. All right, so I just switched lures. Now I am throwing the, uh, the Badunka Dunk. That's a four inch bait. This is the high frequency one that make. It's a little heavier. It's got a lot of noise and it's actually colored just like uh, these mullet that are out here. So we'll rip this thing across and see. This is uh, one of the last big topwaters that I have as well. So we're gonna say a little prayer here real quick. Hopefully we can get something on. There she is. You got her. I was about to say, I'm just gonna vary my cadence. Come on, baby, don't go in the rocks. Yeah! Uh. <laughs> That's three. <laughs> there you go. On, baby. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So try to horse him real hard. He's gonna take you back into the rocks. You're good. Cause he's gonna he's gonna take you in the rocks. You're good. We'll chase. You're good. He'll run. He'll he'll slow down for a minute. Which way is he going? Oh, you're good. All right. <laughs> well. They wanted, uh, they wanted the big lure. Randy threw the, uh, that big old super spook at him. How are you looking online? Let me know when you're at about. Dude, I'm about half right now. You're half? Okay. He'll make a couple runs. I'll come off spot lock. We'll see if we can uh, drag him out deep away from these rocks. Yeah, he's going out to the left. Man, I'm glad he hit your line and not mine. <laughs> It's still pretty light tug, but uh, this is a 50 pound braid at least. So. Oh, 50 braid? Yeah. Oh, good. This, yeah, I put this on the, the bigger line too. Good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm rolling with 10. <laughs> 10 pound braid and 20 pound leader. That fight would have been over right there at the rocks. Well, that's a good way to test that thing out for sure. <laughs> he just said this is the first fish he's ever caught on this rod. So what I'm doing now, you guys, I'm just trying to keep, uh, I'm trying to keep the boat pointed at the fish. That way he doesn't have to keep walking to the front, to the back. There we go. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Not too much pressure. All right, she's in. <laughs> I'll trade you. Good God. All right, she barely fits in that net. Let's uh, let's get her unhooked if we can. She had one hook in her and it was bent. All right, that's out. Whew. <laughs> that is a fish. Good Lord at that fish. Solid. 44, 44 and a half. 44. 44 and a half. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, drive this fish. So I'm gonna come off spot lock, navigational heading that way. 
and we're gonna just start driving with her. And what this will do is this will kind of just let a little bit of water kind of pass over her gills and revive her. Uh, I want I want her more upright. Like that, here we go. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yes. <laughs> My heart just dropped, you guys. Absolutely just dropped. I just looked at Randy and I said, I think she had a heart attack. She's coming back now. She's swimming away. Yes, dude. Woo! <laughs> That was a close one, you guys. We thought, we honestly thought she had a heart attack because we were trying to drive her and revive her and she was just laying there lifeless and then all of a sudden she kicked back in and she's good. Whew. All right, now what do you do? <laughs> Let's go get another one. <laughs> That's a good sound. <laughs> she, she is angry. A lot of head thrashing. I'm, I'm starting to think more shark now than redfish. Then again, it could just be a full grown. I'm feeling a lot of weird bouncing down there on the bottom. I think, I hope that leader is not, uh, or that main line is not wrapped around my lead weight. Big redfish, yes. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for, Randy. Come on up and show yourself, baby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like a good hook set. Let's try not to high sticker here and break this rod. Yes, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh God. <sighs> There's the bull. There's the bull we were waiting on, Randy. All right, man. This is why I need a front rod holder. It's coming. All right, guys, we got a nice fish here. I am very happy to see this girl. Very, very happy. Let's get all this equipment out here. I got her with a uh, piece of cut mullet on the bottom. She's, uh, this is definitely a, a nice bull. She might be close to 40. All right, what do y'all think? Where do you think we're at here? I'm gonna go 38. All right, she's touching there. Right there. Thirty-nine incher, right on the button. Beautiful girl. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and tag her. Easy. 
Easy. Easy. All right. All right, so we gave her a minute to breathe. Let's keep these on for just a second. fish all right guys that is exactly what i came out here to find was big bull redfish oh did you see that that was an eagle ray that eagle ray just jumped out of the water like two or three feet <laughs> you can't make this stuff up spinner sharks eagle rays out here bull reds jacks it is insane out here there's so much life out here at the jetties it's unbelievable but listen, you guys, I came out here to catch redfish, bull reds, and I got one, 39 inch. Uh, I was really hoping she was gonna be 40. No sense in fudging the numbers, 39 is what it is. Uh, Randy got on that really big 44 inch uh, Jack Creval. I think I got broke off about 44 times to myself. <laughs> I lost every single topwater that uh, I have on this boat due to those fish. And uh, man, that's it. Great day out on here in the water. I'm glad I got a chance to share it with you guys out there. All I wanna say to you guys is honestly, thank you for the support. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you haven't got a chance to subscribe to Low Country Fishing, go ahead and click that button now. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care, God bless.